What's up, Wolfpack fam? Today's suggestion comes from Jock. Uh, shout out to you, homie. Uh, sorry if I messed up your name. Um, I do apologize for that. We're going to be checking out. Uh, we're going to be hanging out uh, with Jake Canuso, a.k.a. Mateo. Mateo. And uh, we'll see what he's got to say, boys and girls. Um, let's freaking do this. All right, let's go full screen and let's get it. Okay, go on, you do the have you, have you never been a barman in real life? No. Really? <laughs> As you can see, they have to stick the tray on my hands usually when I do it. I thought all <laughs> actors had been barmen or waitresses or something in, in, oh, no, in he's real a life. Fantastic no. really? dancer. I was, I was a okay. long time ago, I was a dancer. Ah. We've really super mm -hmm. mega famous people, weren't they? Yes. Go on, <laughs> go on. Yes. Go on, say it. Say uh, it. Spice Girls, the Annie Spice Lennox. Girls. Take he was a backing that, dancer. Elton John. Oh. So did you ever cross paths Thank with um, Bruno, Bruno Tonioli? Because he was in a few of those I things. I did about 550 years ago oh, with, nice. with um, Bananarama. Wow, <laughs> get you. So wait, what, what do they say in Spain? We say oh. cheers. Salud. Salud. Salud all. If I don't say this, join Temple Savage there. Someone's going to get mad at me. Hello. Cheers at home. Talk amongst yourselves. We're just going to have a look. We're just going to have a wee oh, chat. That's, that's real. Mm. That's so awesome. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like series, series eight, is that right? Series eight, yeah. And, and you've had to suffer five of those with Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> I've done five. Have, have you done five? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you started in five. Five, six, seven, eight. Four. I've suffered four. Five? <laughs> we? Yes. 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 Come on, you two. I thought you were best buddies. Don't we start are best buddies. We love each the, other. Because the two of you, actually, you go out together in Benidorm, don't you? When Sherry is always coming back and telling tales of parties and nights out. We do, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 do you remember them? <laughs> Hell no. usually, usually it's me putting her in a taxi or taking her home and putting her in her bed as well. Oh. Or going to his house and him putting me in the spare bedroom, fully clothed, and me waking up and not knowing where I am. And that's his fault. And it, and it She's goes to her head. Oh, that's it, yeah. Jay. <laughs> Have you seen that? Have you seen that? that? Lollipop head, I call it. <laughs> In now, dear, because you hate partying, don't well, you? Well, I hate parties, and oh the trouble is... Oh, my God, you should have seen her out Benidorm, there. I was so nervous when I was on Benidorm, because I hadn't acted for years. And I was like, oh, God, will I fit in? And, oh, they were really good. They oh, were you did Because when you went first, went into EastEnders. <laughs> you know, they're, they're so tight. <laughs> well, fast forward, first day, 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm dressed as Tweedledee or Tweedledum, <laughs> singing the karaoke. I remember there's a place called Idols, and yeah, Nadia was, was sitting place. on a red, quite a manky red leather sofa <laughs> with uh, a stocking with a little knot with a little knot on top of it like that. Listening <laughs> 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 to the cat. I've got I've got the image so in my head still. Well, it was brilliant. In your you head. were so content, you were so happy. It was like the best time of my but, life. Jane, can we just say Jane and I are feeling very left we out are sorry. here? We are. We are. <laughs> For someone who's well, this is slightly the straight, gets a bit confused and muddled up, not very good at remembering people's names, that's just Jane. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we'd be great, wouldn't we? We would. We'd yeah. be marvellous. You've just had your audition. So Thank it must you. be quite dangerous for you going out in Benidorm because obviously a lot of expats. <laughs> oh no, because there's lots of expats women out there, and because of your character in the show, do you sort of get them lunging at you? <laughs> They're terrible, <laughs> them. You can't Literally, go sometimes. anywhere. You can't. I think it's difficult for everyone now because the show's so huge and it's so popular that yeah. people get really excited and mix that with a lot of alcohol at 2 o'clock in the morning and... and or 6 o'clock in the morning. And stack do's, or yeah. 6 o'clock in the morning. And, and it... <laughs> Women throw themselves at you, Jake Canuso. <laughs> yeah, but they don't just throw them. They're all his, their hands are really? everywhere on his body. I mean, it's just terrible. You get you to get watch. to a point now. You just go. You do realise your hand is on my bum while we're taking the pictures. And they <laughs> yeah. go, just, sorry, just worth the try. But they annoy you, though. I mean, you'd annoy me if a fellow did that to me. No, I think I think the choice. You just what we do is you choose to go out sometimes, and sometimes you just don't go out because you want to have a nice time with your mates and sometimes no, it, yeah. it turns into something else. So it's a yeah. choice. You go when you're in the mood for it and, and also you're and sometimes working. you don't. We you are, know, yeah. you've got to get up and you've, I'm sure the, the hours, hours are Two hours later, long. we're up at work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what it was like. It was a good job I got sent home at some point. It's really old-fashioned British yes. humour. Yeah. It is. It's, it's, isn't it it's like a so, seaside postcard yeah. Yeah. kind of writ large. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's that's the success of it, really. It's just... It's what, you know, I'm brought up in Switzerland, so I wasn't really, you know, brought up here with that sort of comedy. Yeah. yeah. But it, it's just... I am... Um, it just... I can see what real British comedy is. 
abound. That's what you know. That's why people love British comedy, isn't it? Yeah, and it, oh, it, God, is, it Darren is. has just got really got the yeah. essence of it. Yeah. It's it. very, it's very good. hard. It's saucy to write postcard comes stuff alive. that's that funny. People, yeah. people always sort of sneer a bit at comedy. It's one yeah. of the hardest yeah. things to write. Absolutely, absolutely, and also. I'm not giving I'll give credit to you acting it as well. People think it's so easy because you're just having fun. It, yeah. It's so much about timing and then and, and rhythm and how you say and the characters. words in what order. And, you know, credit to the writers, you know, yeah, the yeah. words are written in a certain order. We can't, you know, we can't just go and paraphrase like yeah. you might do on a drama yeah. or something. There's yeah. a rhythm to you have to stick yeah. to. And Darren Lynn is the best writer ever because he writes these wonderful characters, past, present and will mm. be in the future. And then we're just, and we're just there, you know, doing those wonderful lines. Mm. He is amazing and we, we, mm. we're yeah, very grateful it, for that. It is a gift to be able to do it's a job a like that and give him words like that. I mean, we have the words are all there for us. You yeah, know, you just got to so... remember them. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, yeah. you, you very rarely see you sort of out of character, as, as it were, Jake. Very, very quickly. Do you, do you think that you would do something like Big Brother? We've been talking about it during today. No, it's it, not for me, Big Brother. No. At have all. you ever been asked no. to do something like that? They've inquired about me. They okay. have. Yeah. No, you it's not. Do strictly. Strictly. You'd be good. I tell you strictly, what. Everybody. I love. Yeah. It. I love learning skills. I love, you know, doing stuff. I'd love to do Strictly. People say, oh, you've been a dancer, but it was, yeah. you know, Every year a long, a yeah, yeah, a long time ago. Anyway. I, I think I'd enjoy doing that, but I wouldn't want to be put in a... It's just such a sort of forced situation, isn't it, to be yeah. in a house and, and, and what comes out of it. I... I I, I go to the loo, I'll, I'll do that, oh. I can't... Well, you, you just play this year, definitely. OK, we're going to start a campaign. It's Jake Canoe, so... Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Yo, 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 this was pretty cool checking out. Um, I actually am very happy right now because, number one, we got to see a little bit of Jake and Sherry, uh, you know, a.k.a. Joyce Temple Savage and my boy Matteo. Um, I think I'm going to link um, the Benny Dorm Series 1. If you guys haven't checked it out, you're missing out. And if you just want to rewatch it, I'm linking it. So, first off, um, you know... I kind of understand, uh, you know, Mateo's point, or you know, Jake. Uh, I might re I'm gonna refer to them as a character name, boys and girls, just to make it easy for me. All right, um, because kids should have names, right? Um, I understand, you know, Mateo saying like, you know, sometimes you you have to be wanting to to go out or not go out because at the end of the day, yeah, you want to go out with your mates, right? You want to go hang out with your boys, you know, your girls, whatever, right? And if he goes out, being that he's such a, you know, recognizable person, uh, you know, the character that he plays and stuff like that, if he goes out, then, you know, isn't he going to feel forced? Like, he has to talk like Mateo instead of his, you know, his natural, you know, the way he talks, his natural accent and stuff, then he might have to feel like he's working. Um, and that actually happens to a, a, a lot of celebrities and, and, and on a given. I've been fortunate enough and blessed to... Uh, know a few uh, back in the day and you know it would feel like an extra job for them so you almost don't get a moment of of, of just kind of like just letting loose kind of relaxing and stuff so that was a very interesting point um uh didn't know about loose woman um you know when you just glance at the title right there i thought he was going to talk about you know, you know some sexual experiences and stuff uh but like i can see why he's going to get that attention, so he's like, you know, uh, uh, miss, yeah, your hand is on my, uh, you know, my wang, you know what I'm saying, like, or my bum, uh, in his case, you know what I mean, he's gonna get that type of attention, because, you know, he's been that cool barman that we've seen from Benny Dorm, uh, series one, and, you know, he just, that character is just, uh, man, like I said, he's, he's one of my top five easily characters on the show, um, easily, easily, guys, and, and it's very tough, uh, to have an actual top five because there is such a solid cast. You know, Darren's doing a good job. There's a, a, a right thing that these ladies were mentioning, and obviously I don't know all the ladies uh, on the panel, on the show, but um, they are right that, you know, Darren is a brilliant writer, and and, and you get a little insight um, when Jake is talking, or Mateo, um, where he is talking about, you know, yeah, you can have these, these lines and all that stuff, but you got to deliver it, you know. Anything always, people always, uh, you know, think something is easier said than done. But, like, until you actually do it, you, we have no idea. You know what I mean? Until you're on the stage, until you being got cameras on you, lights, all this crap on you, you don't know. Like, so, um, 
we can only get a glimpse. So that kind of insight that he's talking and and um, Joyce is refreshing to me personally. What I kind of got excited about was um, them just talking about how they hang out in Benny Dorm, um, how they get a couple of drinks. You just see how cool of a dude Jake uh, uh, Mateo is, and 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 how awesome Joyce is because. Um, you know, I feel like these two got some freaking crazy adventures happening and stuff. Like, if you hang out with those two, you're going to have a blast. And, and that's something I loved about the cast. They always seem very, it, it, it always been kind of family oriented. Uh, and it is one of the best shows that we've seen, you know, on the channel. Um, that's, that's the beauty about it, boys and girls. There is a lot to discover. Uh, and we're just scratching. We're, just, we're not even, you know, uh, we're like, it's almost like climbing a mountain, right? We're just on the bottom. We're just scratching the surface and we got a long way to go. There's a lot to explore. Um, are there any more adventures with Mateo and, 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 and uh, Miss Joyce? Uh, Cause I would love to see that if there is some stuff like that, um, where they're just talking more together uh, or any of the Benny Dorm cast, please put it on our radar. Um, you know, it, it's, uh, it's bittersweet that we, I finished the show, uh, you know, as I enjoyed it, you know, all things do come to an end, but at the same time, you know, it, it's, it's a show that's going to stay here in my heart, uh, in my brain, as long as my brain is still functioning and it's just such a great thing. So just listening to them talk and, and the others that were there was really cool. Um, I digged it. Um, you, you know, you, you get a real fondness and, 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 and always, you, you love the characters. You, you get an attachment kind of to, to it, uh, especially when you're watching season after season after season. And again, most of you guys have probably watched it, you know, dozens of times, if not more. And, and we're, we're only at one time and we've already enjoyed it, uh, from the jump. So, uh, if there's more of these things, please put it on our radar. Um, I would love to see more. Um, anything with the Benny Dorm gang is awesome. So, uh, thank you so much, uh, Jock, for the suggestion. Uh, we'll keep it rolling, boys and girls. More stuff coming to the channel uh, as best we can. All right. See you next time. Peace and love always. Peace.